Jake with R Value Homes here, building net zero homes in West Michigan. And we use ICF for most of our homes, as you probably already know. A question we often get is how to do the trusses. So we're gonna look at a few details right now. On an ICF wall, the outer two and a half inches are foam, and we have six inches of concrete and two, another two and a half inches of foam. Of course, we don't want the truss weight on the foam, so what we've done is we've uh, asked our truss designer to plan on a two and a half inch cantilever for the truss. And so that's why there's a two by six web here so that it does have sufficient bearing on the concrete center. Here we're using the Berman truss bracket, which is a really nice system. Just four screws on each side here. And this is a much higher uplift rating than the standard bracket. Now when it comes to the end wall, that's a little bit different. So let's take a closer look at that. If you're wondering about this fabric, it's called Intello, and you can watch a different video of mine that explains what that's all about. But just looking here on the gable wall, we don't want that gable truss sitting on foam, yet we need the outside to be flushed up with the foam, no ledge. So what we've done is we've put the plate on back a couple inches. Uh, remember, there's two and a half inches of foam out there. The plate is back a couple inches, and then just furred this truss out, then sheeted it, and put it in place. So that's how we can accomplish not having the bearing any weight on the foam uh, that's on the outside here, just like this is on the inside. You got the same thing on the outside, but because we've furred out and set the plate back two inches, we don't have weight sitting on the foam.